Okay. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Bye, Natty. <laughs> Bye, girl. address, insurance, phone number? Yes, ma'am. All right, I just have a consent form for you. I am going to the GYN once again today to find out why I'm still bleeding, which I am not looking forward to. We were having some bleeding, and we weren't sure if it was from the implant or not. Here's a picture of your ultrasound from today. Uterine lining here and the polyp. So uterine polyps are just abnormal growths that they can grow within our body. They mm -hmm. appear in the colon. Some people grow polyps in their vocal cords, in their um, noses. They can grow anywhere. When they grow in the body, then it's important to remove them. Surgery, especially if they're in the uterus. I hate having to have surgery. And leaving work right now would definitely affect my career. So this is even more confusing and frustrating because this is a whole nother issue and problem that I have to deal with. They can, um, if left alone, they can cause more bleeding and they can become abnormal cells and abnormal cells can multiply and turn into cancer. So that's why we clean out the uterine lining and remove those polyps. Busy day on the beach. Yeah, it's gonna only get busier and busier. I got a call from Brian the other day. What does he want this time? He uh, was just asking if I saw like anything up with Brie at all. Like if I've seen changes in her attitude or anything like that. And I said I I did. She has been really short with me and Is there something wrong specifically? She's not working and so I think she has a lot of stress on her plane, and she's just not really talking about it. So she's just lashing out. Have you talked to Bree about it, or just Brian? No. Brian was thinking maybe we both talked to her. That kind of sounds like an intervention to me. Sometimes that's not bad. I don't know. I don't want her feeling like she's getting attacked. She won't know it's important to you guys unless you tell her it's important to you guys. She probably doesn't know she's mistreating either of you. True. So you call Bree. What do you say? Stop being a bitch. Hey, we're matching. Hit that prom pose on the other. What's your deal with Rosa? I know she's hot. Okay, I'm going to sit over here. She's scary. Thank you. No, actually, I'm getting a little jealous. So I rounded up some divas, and I asked them if they wanted to throw a special birthday party for Natty. Oh, my God. It feels so weird being here and seeing, like, so how's it been? Everything's good. I'm so glad, like, I decided to make the decision to, like, go back because I feel like I've improved so much. Since I was told by Mark Crono that I was going to have to be Valine Naomi, I decided I need to go back to NXT, and it's been very rewarding, and I'm just, like, on cloud nine right now because I'm feeling so good about everything. Sometimes you have to take sacrifices in life for a better long-term decision. I'm really proud of you, though. Thanks, girl. Thank you, girl. Hey. Okay, let's order some food. Bye. Bye. <laughs> really nice that the girls are throwing this little surprise party for me. I can't believe you guys did this. I want to give Rosa credit, but she, we, she invited all this, and she set this whole thing up for me. That's nice of you. Thank you. I wanted to do it for you. Right now, my heart is so full. It just makes me so happy seeing Natty happy. Oh, yeah. How did you know my bra Oh, tickle. I see you naked all the time. Oh, my, wait, hold on. Natty, can I see this really fast? It's totally transparent, so he can see your little... Oh. <laughs> this is from me and the journey. Cute. Oh my gosh. First of all, you know I love my bubble bath. Thank you. You have some nice little gifts there, man. I know. I feel so spoiled. I'm actually really touched that Rosa put all of this together for me. I think that was really nice of her. It's nice that everybody's come together for my birthday, and I feel very special. because you know you always think about us thank you roke yeah. thank you guys for coming i feel really blessed to have all you here tonight
fucking tummy hurts. Dad, can you rub my tummy for me? Why? If I rub it, I'm gonna. It, it's not. It, it, it ain't like you got a stomach ache or something. It, no back talk, just press on it. It's not even funny anymore. It's like dealing with the health now. I just it's all a problem. Want to wait and see if what my body does on its own and let it Man, heal itself. I don't want to go. Your body ain't healing itself. Get no Your surgery. Body ain't itself. I don't want to be cut. I don't want them going back up in there. I am feeling so horrible. The cramping is so severe. I just feel tired, exhausted, and in a lot of pain. I was fine before I went to the doctor and found out all this, so I don't think I just need to. And you're worse when you left the doctor. The doctor is definitely pushing me to have surgery, but she also said there's a possibility that the polyp could bleed out on its own. That sounds a whole lot better to me than surgery. I'm hoping that's the case. We didn't even sex it. So what do you think about? No, but dang. <gasps> See, I can't even touch it. I can't even, I can't even. You can, but when my stomach's hurt, you don't need to be doing that. John is constantly on me about getting this problem fixed. It's starting to be a problem. You starting to be a problem. You tell your mama. You better not call my mama. Call my mama, mama ain't got nothing to do with this. Mama. We married now, my mama ain't got nothing to do with this. So you came to my house to tell me that I have an attitude problem? The thing is, Briz, it's not just with your sister. I feel like I'm being attacked. I haven't been able to please my husband. I have the best idea. I told Dad I need to make it rain up in here. Hi. Hey. Oh, you look pretty. Look, do we match? I just want to be done. Kinda. I'm meeting Summer and Rosa for lunch, and this really sucks because I'm tired, weak, I have no energy, I'm lightheaded all the time. Remember I got the birth control implant, and girl, the struggle continues. My flow, it, it won't shut off. Like, have you, I've had, yes, for two months straight. Two months straight. So when you wrestle and everything? Yes. It's not good, it's like you can have iron Yes, like I feel tired. It's also like I have no energy. It's terrible. I feel bad because John has an extremely high sex drive. I have to do something to keep him. Maybe you just need to like spice it up. I haven't been able to please my husband, and that's really bothering me and weighing on me heavy because that's what I do. I love pleasing my husband. I just want to do something because he's been very patient. Right. I have the best idea ever. What? strip for him and to put on the show for him. So. You dance for years. Should I Google or should I Yelp? How should I look? Tampa's the strip capital of the world, so I'm sure there's tons of places around here. So I'm planning on visiting my mom, my brother, anyways, in Phoenix. I think it's a perfect time to fly in early and have Brian and I sit right down and figure out what's going on. Okay, well, I'm down, but you're going to have to take charge in this. You're going to leave, and I'm going to be the one who has to stay and deal with the repercussions of it all. You excited? Actually, I'm a little, a little nervous. You are? Why? I need to get my confidence up. I want to look like I know somewhat of what I'm doing. Well, we're going to the right place, girly. Hi, I'm Allie. Oh, nice to meet you. Show you a few moves in the pole. Okay. Okay. Whoa, that is so amazing. Outside leg, like, hang. Inside. It's on your wow. tail. I have no idea what I'm in for. That is crazy. Wow. Oh. Ooh. Yes, you're almost there. Nice. That's a, do I look hot like that? Totally. Oh, summer. I see you working. It. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Sing Trinity on that pole with that ass. I mean, I need to make it rain up in here. She is killing it. See, that's something you can do for John right there. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. 
Trinity is a genetic freak. She's an amazing athlete. She can do everything. We got some tricks, guys, up our sleeves. I'm definitely ready to show John what I learned. He's gonna be in for a rude awakening. I'll work myself up. Twerking. twerking. Oh. Y'all give twerking a bad name. Great job, Taylor. Thank you. I think I'm ready to put on a good performance now. He won't even let you get to the second move. He'll be like, yep, yep, come on, come on, man. Nicole's here to visit. Yay. What about me? Yeah. Hey. I thought you were going to be with Mom and JJ all day. I came in a day early to hang out with you. Mm. It's honestly hard to start this conversation. I don't think my sister's going to react well to this, but you know what? This is why I'm here, and I just need to get down to the root of the problem that's going on in Brie. Ew, why do you have a weird smile on your face? Um, well, I actually came here for a reason. What do you mean? Well, I just feel that lately you've kind of been snapping a lot. So you came to my house right now to sit here and tell me that I have an attitude problem? Basically. That's childish. What the hell is going on? The thing is, Bree, is it's not just with your sister. I feel like I'm being attacked. You too? Uh... Yeah. We got in a big argument in a washer and dryer store. Brian, you and I had been Googling washer and dryers for weeks. We knew exactly what we wanted. We spent an hour there. Is that really a reason to get pissed about? No, because the thing is, is it that when so ends silly up when you happening. even say it. That's why we're so both So when you're always a bitch, then what is that about? Should I sit you down? Should I fly to Tampa? Oh, Florida when am I a bitch? There? Oh, my God, you're a bitch all the f time. No one said you had to hang out with me. You're my sister. You're not my friend. Surprise for me. I'm excited to show John a little, hmm, hmm, a little hey, hey, what I learned. Uh -huh. A stripper pole. Uh huh. I want not even know how hot she is. That's why we're so both when you're always a bitch, then you. what is that about? Should I sit you down? Should I fight a Tampa oh, Florida and sit bitch? there? Oh my god, you're a bitch all the time. See, this is your problem right now. What? I dread hanging out with you because it's always some... Well, don't hang out with me. How about that? You're my sister. You're not my friend. We're just talking to you because we're concerned. Okay? This isn't... This I'm isn't... I'm sitting here, like, trying not to freak out that we have no checks coming in, that I have no idea when I'm going back to TV. Like, I'm human. I might have some really bad times, but... I should be able to have that in front of you. You're my husband in front of you. You're my sister. Bree, I understand you being stressed about that, but why be mean to us? I'm just confused because I didn't realize that I was being such an awful human being. We're just talking to you because we're concerned. I feel like they don't understand where I'm at. I have no idea how to deal with my life right now. So yes, I am stressed. You can vent to us. Uh... Vent about to, what? Just, that I'm not happy because I feel like they'll never want to bring me back? Because I'm frustrated because all I want to do is have my hard work pay off and I feel like it's not? Yeah, that's better than being mean to us. I just really thought, like, I had some momentum going and I just felt like, I don't just know, like... ask them, what's going on? And I'm here, if you're mad, I'm with you, but we just don't appreciate it being taken out on us, you know? I'm helping my husband through his surgery. I am trying to put my new home together. I'm trying to put my whole new life together. Like, there's a lot on my plate. But no, even though I don't know how to deal with my life right now, it gives me no right to take it out on them. I've just been waiting for WWE to call me. I've been waiting for them to come to my door and just be like, Bree, we need you. But that's not going to happen because they have a lot of things on their plate. And you know what? I have to reach out to them. Josie, I haven't been mean to you, have I? Yeah. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh, my God. This that's is a good so girl. Gross. Is that gross? It's disgusting. That's a She's good looking at his boogers. He doesn't no, have boogers. Not. I don't have boogers. Oh, my gosh. 